What's up guys, Joe with Momentum Works. Today I've got the Holy Grail Detroit Turbos, the GT4708. Stay tuned. So for the longest time, I've been hearing people talk about this huge Detroit Turbo, and I had no idea what it was. People throw around the term HK, no idea what it was. So finally guys, I found it. I found the Monster Detroit Turbo. So from what I understand, it comes off of a Series 60, but the HK series of the Series 60, which is supposed to be an industrial application. If I'm wrong, go ahead, you know, fix me up in the comments like you always do. Um, this was a higher horsepower, higher RPM version of the Series 60, but the fitment is the same as all the road going Series 60s that we've all come to know and love. So what we have here is the turbo from that larger application. But guys, remember, it is a factory stock turbo. So it's a GT4702, I'm sorry, 4707 from Garrett. It's waste skated, it's T6 divided flange. But the thing is, this comes with a monster wheel, guys. 80 millimeter inducer by 110, which is huge. On the turbine side, 94 millimeter uh, with an 86, I think. I'll put it in the comments below. Um, but basically, you're talking about a monster compressor side with a pretty small turbine wheel, relatively speaking, with a 127 gated housing. So that 127 is going to allow it to spool up really fast, but then you've got this waste gate here so that you don't over spool or damage the turbo. And then you've got that big wheel hanging off on the other side. So realistically, you know, if you have a Detroit and you're looking for a stock bolt-on turbo for something that's hopped up, you know, you got hop tune in it, you got some larger injectors, this could be a real contender and it's a genuine Garrett unit. Let's take a deeper look. Let's take a deeper dive in what everybody wants to see, that big ass shiny billet compressor wheel, baby. So what we said, it's an 80 millimeter inducer, 110 millimeter overall diameter, which is the whole size of the wheel behind the inducer. Uh, what we have here is a six plus six, and this is boreless, guys. What boreless means is the nut is integrated into the wheel. Really nice stuff there. Coming over to the exhaust side, we've got a 10 blade turbine wheel and a waste gated 127 exhaust housing. And one last thing on the finer details here, guys. This is a waste gated turbo, which we don't normally talk about on this channel. But basically what this is going to do is this turbo is going to spool up almost immediately because it's got that small 127 housing. But to prevent the turbo from over spooling, you have this wastegate that's going to open up. And unfortunately, boost is going to plateau. It's going to hold a steady number. So what? Why do we care that there's an 80 millimeter T6 turbo? Joe, there's a bunch of 80 millimeter T6 turbos. You know what makes this one special? It's manufactured by Garrett and it's an OEM stock turbo. So a lot of guys call in, they really want Garrett over Borg Warner for whatever reason. And there's not a whole lot of options because as everyone knows, you know, Garrett kind of stopped supporting the aftermarket. Uh, you know, Garrett does a lot of OEM stuff, but they don't always really do performance stuff unless you're talking about the GTX series. But at that point, you're talking about, you know, a four, five, six thousand dollar ball bearing turbo, which a lot of times is just out of the reasonable price point of what someone's willing to spend. So if you're looking for a Garrett and you're looking for a big wheel size, this is a great option for you guys. And not just for the Detroits, even though it was a Detroit factory option, you can run something like this on a Caterpillar and probably get pretty good results. <clears throat> All right guys, so just to wrap it up, you know, I finally found this big Detroit turbo that everyone's talking about. Here it is. I'll leave the part number in the description so that you have it. If you need one, we have them on our website. If you wanted to run this on a Detroit, whether a D-Deck 3 or 4, it's going to be a direct fit, direct swap. You're just going to want to put a little bit more fuel to it, run a little bit of a hotter tune to really make it work for you. D-Deck 5 and 6, you might be able to do it with some other modifications. If you wanted to run it on a Caterpillar, you absolutely could do that. Exhaust flange is going to be a direct bolt-on. Exhaust is going to be a direct bolt-on. This is the only thing that's going to be a little different, guys. You're going to have to run the V-Band style Detroit Elbow, which we also have if you wanted to run this on a Caterpillar. Guys, any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's any other topics you'd like us to cover, again, leave them in the comments below. If you've got a question, you need a turbo, check out our website. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send a carrier pigeon, whatever it is, we want to hear from you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.